Donna Kana. I'm from Jersey, New York, and I grew up knowing about Joe Namath, not because I follow sports like that, you know, but he was always like in the Enquirer and Star for stuff, and he used to wear fur coats and be fabulous. <laughs> and he, and he pay, played for the Jets, and so um, I decided to wear his jersey. <laughs> What was, what was well, that? Well, I think that's what they do at football games. Right. Right? Yes. I caught on a little in the middle of it. I was confused, too, but that's what they do. They scream out, like, the team name like that. Why don't I know that? Uh, um, the Seattle um, Seahawks are playing. And um, them. So you know I'm not a sports person. But I like to talk sports when sports meets the intersection of... Oh, right. All right, some of the girls that, that are watching aren't as familiar with football as, as some of the guys, so I'll just explain, ladies and some of you gentlemen. The team had practice early in the morning, and Justin had missed quite a few practices, and then he wasn't performing uh, suitable to whoever's watching over the team. I guess they would call that the coach. <laughs> there he is right here. I know, don't, don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, the girls are like, oh. Because <laughs> I said the same thing. A-Rod, um, Yankee, he's got a new girlfriend, and here she is. <laughs> now, I will have you know that Anne is the CEO of a genetic testing company. But what do you talk about? Like, I could see her saying to him something like, what do you think about genetic engineering in the private sector? <laughs> and I hate to stereotype sports guys, but okay, everybody stereotypes. So I picture him answering, duh. I don't really know Tom Brady's personality. He looks like, duh. <laughs> Just on account of the forehead, he just goes, duh. <laughs> that's a big head. <laughs> Ooh, that, that forehead. I say this every time. You know, it, yeah, he's like Frankensteinish. But there are pictures of him where he's really good looking. Now, see, he looks good there. But that's because he pulled his wig down a little bit, you know? <laughs> and Tom, Tom is 59 years old, and he says he has no intent on retiring anytime soon. Though He says the way his body is conditioned right now, he could play for several more years. Wow. He's 39. Thir what'd I say? You said, you said 50, 59? 59. Oh, I'm sorry, 39. <laughs> 39, you know what I mean. Adam LaRoche. That, base, that baseball player with the woolly red beard. Oh. And he's got a check with the White Sox. Do we still call them the White Sox? Yeah. Uh -huh. Are the Red Sox still around? No, no. Boston. Boston. This is Chicago. This is Chicago. Oh, Boston. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Who is Ralph Brown? He used to play for the Cleveland Browns. The Arizona Cardinals. The Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> I've never heard of that team. Is that still around? <laughs> oh. He's some sort of ex-football player. I don't know that much about football, uh, but he was playing for one team back in 2001 or two, and then, you know, he, he wasn't like a starter or somebody maybe that your dad would know. I don't know, his last name is Johnson? Uh -huh. Who was Eric Johnson? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look. Blake Griffin, and he plays um, hockey or something. <laughs> Bas he plays basketball. <laughs> and the reason that Croy is with her is because Croy, even though it's football season, the fellas here tell me that he's sus not suspended. He's um broken. He's injured. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> Kelvin Hayden. He's 32 years old, and he's an he was a former NFL player. His position in football was a cornerback. Now I don't know exactly what that is. 
That is her, that is her fiance, Vladimir Klitschko, and, um, and they have a baby together, and he's six feet seven, and he's a mixed martial artist or something. He's, he's a, a boxer. World heavyweight champion. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You're a ball player. Yeah. At that time, you were th with the Clippers. With the Lakers. Lakers at that time, but you've been with the Clippers. Yeah. I follow a little something. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how long ESPN is going to keep her Fox. only because... What? Fox Sports. Fox Sports. Yeah. Same difference. Sports. <laughs> Snoop Dogg has got some interesting parenting skills. And he's got a new docu-series that's gonna show. Only problem is it's gonna be on the ESPN and I don't know where that is on my cable. <laughs> I'll have to consult uh, somebody. <laughs> Matt Kemp is some sort of baseball player, I think for the Dodgers. But the, who? Oh? Padres. The Padres. <laughs> the Padres. You, you boys know about sports? <laughs> I was talking to some of my, um, you know, staffers around here who actually watch football because there are a lot of people here who don't. <laughs> For whatever reason, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who Eric Walden is? No. My people. <laughs> now look, Eric Walden plays for the Green Bay... Pa Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> They're so masculine over there. <laughs> the NFL ball player, you know him, Antonio Cromarty. Cromarty? 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. Excuse me, I was, I was asking men who follow football. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch golf, it's too quiet for me. And it's hot out there on the links. <laughs> uh, but I like the costumes. <laughs> uh, look, I took, no, no, you know, I just I took a lesson one time, and I was dressed to the nines, honey. You would have... <laughs> but, but it was just, it's like too hot, and you're swinging. Just, can I go back to the clubhouse for a margarita? <laughs> so now he's got this big golf tournament coming up. I don't follow golf. It's too quiet for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, but he's got this big golf tournament coming up, and his career hasn't really been doing well with the golf, so I guess this is a tournament that can bring him back, you know, to the top of the leaderboard. Um, <laughs> that's a Dancing with the Stars term, so, sorry. <laughs> the leaderboard. Now, he's a tennis pro at the club. <laughs> Not at the country club, like I said the other day. <laughs> After the show, I was corrected. He's actually a professional tennis player, but he ranks number 11,000. <laughs> yeah, number 1,100. <laughs> the basketball player, Chris Humphreys, he's done nothing, not with talking about her or his basketball career. Does he still play? <laughs> oh, he does? Uh, uh, Google says he uh, plays for the Atlanta Hawks. Is he a star? Uh, debatable, but yeah, <laughs> sure. Well, you don't much follow sports. <laughs> You're right. Uh, but... <laughs> NBA fans in uh, Cleveland are very, very upset with Chloe K because they're saying that uh, by her dating that guy, Tristan Thompson, who I had never heard of before, I didn't know who this guy was until they started dating, but um, one fan um, recently posted that the Cavs haven't been winning since Chloe has been around. I didn't know that one man could make a team do well. Now, I don't know how the Cavaliers, how are they, do, do you watch sports? First of all, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yeah, they're like, uh, I think they're like leading or number one or high up at the top, I think. <laughs> is he one of the top five players on that team? Um, yes, he is. I'm getting word, yes, he is. <laughs> oh, you're hearing it in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's a top five player. All right. Well, whatever. This is not Chloe's fault. Robin can't be within a hundred feet of her. How big is that? Uh, is that a how? A, that's a football field. Yeah, that's what I hear. No, it's a hundred yards of football field. You don't know football field. <laughs> it's a hundred yards. Yep. <laughs> I looked on Wikipedia. <laughs> so LeBron James, who's been very very busy. Plan, uh, conditioning himself. There's some sort of game going on right now. I have no idea. 
Is it tonight? What's he doing? It's a ga- he's playing in game one against the Golden State Cavaliers. I'm kidding, it's the Warriors. <laughs> Will you be watching? Uh, that is a no. <laughs> and the Green Bay Packers won last night? Yesterday, last week? <laughs> Yesterday? Yeah, this morning? Night. Whatever, anyway, they won and the Giants lost. The night before the big game with uh, the Green Bay, <laughs> you know, half the Giants were on Trey Song's boat in Miami. Okay. Norman says that he's going to make this picture a calendar for his office. <laughs> I'm not looking at you. I'm looking this way. <laughs> like, if I, like, if I was a football player, I don't know that I would want a girl who loves football and knew who I was. I, th- I think that I would it'd be refreshing for a girl to fall for me and not know who I am and also not watch football. And what I would explain to her once I married her is um, I would explain to her what I need. Like, I need muscle milk. I need, <laughs> I need, I need lots of ice on, on Sundays. And I would also explain, learn how to duck. <laughs> because football players are legendary for, well. Was that a low blow? Yeah. You read the headlines. No, it wasn't. <laughs> The most, the most shocking, and not all football players beat their women, okay? I know that. But, but the ones that do, I think you're whack. 